Hey guys, what's up? What's up? It's me, your moving biz CEO, Sean John. Listen, not long ago, I wrote a book about personal finance. This book is designed to change the way you think about money, because uh, if you change your mindset, you can change your money. Uh, people have access to money all the time, whether you're poor, whether you're rich, it does not matter. Uh, probably most important thing about uh, money utilization is going to be your understanding of money and money management. So I talked about those principles, things that helped me, uh, that helped change my life when it comes to money, when it comes to finances. In 2017, I was broke, not just broke, I was homeless. And uh, that was right before I started my moving business. I had no idea what I was doing whenever I got started. It was a struggle, it was a hassle, but I made it work uh, because I really didn't have any other choice. I just, I just wouldn't accept failure. And I was already at my lowest point, and so I used the moving industry to change my life. And uh, that's why I love it. That's why uh, I always talk about it. And that's why I come on here and try to give you guys some content uh, to help you out. So by the way, if you need coaching or if you want to get in the masterclass, click the link below or just let me know in the comments and then we'll reach out to you. If you want to learn money management, get a copy of the book. It's just 25 bucks. Uh, doesn't cost much, but it will change your life because I always say once you make all this good money, you have to know uh, what exactly you want to do with the money, right? So how to keep it. Uh, so today, uh, and if you guys notice, I'm trying to keep my videos really, really short. Uh, just diving into what we want to talk about. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not doing as many as I normally do. Uh, so again, if you need coaching, reach out now. I can't promise that I'll be doing this channel uh, even even a month from now. I don't know because I have so much going on. But anyway, reach out. So uh, here we go. So how do you know if your business is DO, DOA, right? Dead on arrival. Uh, there are things, signs, right? When your body's not healthy, it gives you signs, gives you symptoms. Uh, when you're not feeling your best, your stomach might hurt, might have a headache, sinuses may be acting up. There are, there are symptoms uh, for, for the sickness, right? Uh, to diagnose the sickness. And the same thing when it comes to uh, relationships, there are symptoms, hey, temper, attitude, all about themselves. These are all bad signs, right? And it allows you to diagnose what could potentially be a disastrous situation. Same way in business. So you can diagnose that your business is really, really sick and headed for disaster, right? Uh, that your business could be sick and it could be terminal, but it doesn't have to be terminal because there are some things that you can do uh, that can help your business to survive, right? So I'll talk about three really quick things. These are not all of the things, but these are, these are some prevalent things that when you see these things start to happen, you better know that your business is in trouble and, and in danger of flatlining, right? And so I don't want your business to flatline. I know you don't either uh, because you put so much work into it. It's about your family. It's about those around you. Uh, it's about being success and changing people's lives, making a lot of money and having a good time doing it. Uh, so real quick, we're going to talk about DOA for your business. Uh, the first thing that you'll see in your business when you know it's headed for disaster, uh, disaster on arrival or dead on arrival, is you'll start struggling in this category and that category is lead generation. So the one first thing you'll notice is that you're not getting good leads. Your leads are coming from customers that aren't qualified to do business with you. Cheap, cheap people, free people, free people who want the work done for free. Customers who want to control your price and tell you what your company is worth, what your labor and production is worth. And so now you're marketing to the wrong people, you're getting chaos, and all of a sudden, you're getting a bunch of bad leads, and those leads are not generating to the income that you need, right? And so, how many know that when a business struggles with leads, it struggles with income, right? And so, the leads aren't coming in, or if they are coming in, you're getting the bad leads. Well, let's just say you're getting good leads. The second thing that's going to hurt your business is this, sales. Okay, fine. My leads are kind of good. So, good leads are coming in or at least decent leads are coming in but you don't know how to sell you get on the phone you spend 10 20 minutes on the phone with a customer that should take three to five minutes book the job get out of there it's only a move you don't need all this ridiculous information you can always capture and this drives me nuts you can always capture inventory and so many other things through an email uh, unless it's long distance i get that but most moves are local you can get all that information through an email. What you're trying to get right now is the moving information and a reservation. 
We don't have to talk about every little item you got. It's gonna take too long. I can capture that. I got time between now and your move. I'll get that then. That'll speed up your process. So sales, sales come in, you don't know how to sell. You're not good at sales. You're not doing a good job at sales. You're struggling at sales. You don't have a script. You don't understand call flow. You don't understand call control. The customer controls the entire call. You scared to talk about your price. You're ready to cut a deal because you don't have a script and you don't know how to sell. You need coaching, you need a mentor because you cannot lose here. Even if the leads are good and the sales are poor, you're, asking, you're still out of business. And the last thing is customer, you thought I was gonna say customer service, right? No, customer experience. You're failing in customer experience, you're getting one star, two star, three stars. You're struggling just to get a four star. You're struggling just to get a five star. And even when you get the uh, the five stars every now and again, it's, it's a struggle to get people to go online and list it, right? Even if you do a great job, you're struggling to get people to the site to list it. Because guess what? People don't care about reviewing your business. Don't get mad, they don't care about reviewing mine either. And so we have to get out front and lead them. Remember, the number one rule in sales is assume. Right, so we have to get out front and lead them, assume that they want to leave the review and think that way. So if, if your leads are drying up, if your sales are in the toilet and you're struggling to sell and you're struggling to close and get a reservation, your business is dying. And if the customer experience has gone into the sewer, the gutter, right, and you're doing a terrible job, right, uh, just not good, Right, and your customer's gonna recognize that, and now you got a poor product. And guess what? The customer doesn't care about leaving you a five-star review, but they can't wait to leave you a one-star review. You won't have to remind them. They'll make sure that they do it. You won't have to call back and say, hey, don't forget that one-star review. No, 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 they'll beat you there. Now you gotta call back and get them to leave that five-star review. Oh, but for the one-star review, baby, they are gonna be on time. They are gonna be on time. So again, when you see these three things, know that your business is in trouble, know that your business is dying and in danger of being dead on arrival, right? If you wanna learn how to do this, I'm probably gonna host a webinar coming up soon. Uh, so let me know if you guys wanna jump into that webinar. If, if I get enough interest, I'll go ahead and do it. If not, won't worry about it. Uh, but if I get enough interest, we'll host a webinar where we'll cover these things and I'll help you to grow your business. So put a, put a one in the comments if you wanna do the webinar, let me know. If you want coaching or anything like that, get the masterclass. It's gonna be in the first comment below. And if you want one-on-one -on -one coaching, that's gonna cost you more because my time costs, but it will help you to change your business and hopefully change everything about your business and your structure. And hopefully that'll lead to a better life and better business for you. Hit subscribe, hit thumbs up. I'm Sean John. See you on the next video. Peace.